Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to dismantle and reassemble a Springfield 1911 handgun. This is pretty much for any 1911 handgun, but this one just happens to be a Springfield 1911. So what we're going to do is start out by checking it and making sure it's safe. There's no bullets in it, no magazine. It is all good. So, the next step is we are going to leave the hammer back and we are going to find the spring up front and we are going to put pressure on the spring, pushing it down, releasing tension on this bushing. We're going to slide the bushing over, releasing the spring from the front of the gun. Then we are going to drop this bushing down to the opposite side and pull it straight out. It comes right out of the gun. Next thing we're going to do is you're going to find two divots on your slide here on the left side of your gun. You're going to find the divot in the back closer to the back of the gun and that's going to line up with the top of your safety right here. So you're going to slide that back and that is going to line up right here. I'm not sure if you can see that. I hope you can. It lines up right here. After you do that, you come to this side and you find this little pin, I'm sorry, button. You push that and that is going to lift up your safety pin right here. Lifts up the whole safety. I think you can see it popping up there. And I pull that safety out. The next thing I do is I go ahead and slide off the whole main frame of the gun. Now this is ready to just be put down and cleaned up. Pull out my um, my uh, bushing pin here, or my uh, spring pin, and go ahead and pull out the barrel. Slides right out like so. Now all this is ready to be cleaned and greased. I already did that a few minutes ago, so I'm just showing you guys how to take it apart and put it together. Um, in case you don't know how or where to grease your gun, you're just going to want to find anywhere on on your gun that has metal and metal um, metal and metal contact. Anywhere that's rubbing, you can see any sort of wear. You're going to want to apply grease to those parts. Any moving pieces on your gun, you are going to want to apply grease to those parts. Uh, so anything that moves or anything with metal and metal contact, you definitely want to have nice and lubed up. So to start to reassemble, what we're going to do is take the slide and the barrel, making sure that this is facing forward. We are going to slide that straight into the barrel. It will kind of drop into place there in the back. The next thing we're going to do is drop in our pin right here in front. And we're going to take the main part of our frame here and slide that back on. Sliding it back far enough to where we are going to line up this divot back with the safety pin here. Okay, now I was, uh, we got to make sure that the safety pin can drop right in. And it's in, so all we're going to do is make sure not to scratch the main frame, but drop it back in nicely. And got to make sure we're lined up. There we go, it snaps right into place. Next thing we're going to do is go back with our bushing on the front, slide that on. And get our spring, slide that right into place. After that is dropped into place, we slide our bushing right back over, making sure our spring is secure. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and do the check. Make sure it works. Firing pin stays back and fires. It functions correctly. We just did it successfully. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them or ask them. Thank you. Hope you guys learned something.